so far we have seen uh, parallel jobs now we'll start with uh, sequence job like uh, so sequence jobs are to control parallel jobs or a server jobs or to give a dependency we use sequence jobs to just go with the sequence job we need to know the parallel jobs as we discussed till in the last session type 2 so we are going to see now first of all i just want to give a overview with a small uh, representation for example this is my job 1 this is my job 2 and this is my job 3 and the other one is job 4 so now what is job 1 uh, the functionality and uh, the purpose of these jobs can be differ can be differ from uh, one flow to another flow so there are four jobs to complete one particular scenario maybe atm transaction scenario or like uh, generating a credit card statement after doing some calculations at the month and the end of the month or uh, maybe uh, analyzing some business of particular one product of one particular area such a way there is a some scenario which is going to close with this job job four jobs so now what is my requirement is i want to run these four jobs but not parallelly one after the other if i want to run parallelly what i need to do i can directly call a sequence and these four jobs i can add and i can run or individually also i can run i can or else i can individually trigger also if not like that i want to make a control control in the sense once the job one is completed then job two should run once the job two is completed then job two job two should run and job two completion four should run three should run and after that four should run so this is your completion i'm saying i'm not saying success or failure i'm saying completion so j1 is success then j2 starts if after completion of j2 success then j3 should start after completion of j3 then j4 okay uh, once again i'm just uh, giving a note i'm just talking the run the completion of the run not the success of course i have just mentioned as j2 success i guess but it is a wrong wrong uh, mistake R wrong spell i mean to say like a uh, unfortunately i have given but what i'm talking is the completion of the job 1 completion of job 2 completion of the job 3 completion of job 4 so there is a dependency job 4 is dependent on j3 j3 is dependent on j2 j2 dependent on j1 so like this we have dependency to design this dependence to define this dependence we go for sequence because in parallel job individually if you run i cannot give a dependency so here i can give a dependency in this way now after uh, now not only the completion i want to make it as success also that is like controlling making uh, controlling and uh, uh, creating dependencies we can do now i need to see that whether it is success or not is j1 is success then only j2 j2 is success then only j3 if these three are success then only j4 so like this we can make either these three uh, success maybe uh, at least one get bit success then j4 can run even one is not success j4 should not run so like this you can control the jobs uh, in the sequence job so the main purpose of job sequences are to create a dependency and uh, to control the parallel jobs so today assume that after completion of development of my project not completely like uh, the parallel jobs design and all i want to make a sequence to each and every flow so in that case i need to call these all parallel jobs into one sequence job and i need to control them so i hope that is the reason, i mean i hope you people i can understand what is now the job sequence so normally in sql in oracle if you are oracle or any other database if csql if you take it is a individual query 
but PLC called the combination of the queries. The same way here also, uh, jobs are individual, but when the combination of the job, jobs, parallel jobs are one job sequence. So to create a sequence of the job and to create the control of the job, we use job sequence. How to do that practically in the tool means you need to create a job sequence job. So when I select from the new tab, I had a job sequence. I use that sequence job. Then the parallel job is the canvas is open. After opening the canvas, you can see the palette. These all are the sequence activities. Till now we have discussed like parallel stages, database stages and all, but here we can call these as activities. Okay. Now uh, what I want to do is I want to make a job. Uh, first of all, I need to call a job. See here. Uh, to do the start, I have to run one. This is one whole sequence. Assume that this is the one job sequence. Means there are four jobs. So I need to call jobs first. So how many ways I can call a job into a sequence? First of all, the easiest method to call a parallel job onto the canvas is just to make the repository open and go to the job and go to the folders of the jobs and what you can do just simply select the job and drag onto the canvas with, by left clicking left clicking your mouse button and holding it and bring onto the sequence job and just leave it you can see a job activity you can see a job activity so now what i can do uh, that is one way now, if you just double click on this job activity and if you go for general tab and job activity tab, job tab in the job tab, you can see the job name. OK, so this is the one way to call your parallel job onto your canvas. The other way is bring the job activity onto the canvas. But here I don't have any job. You cannot see any job. But how to call a job into this activity means click on browse button, the parallel, the parallel stage will be the parallel uh, canvas will be open sorry the canvas will be open it's not like parallel canvas or server canvas canvas will be open i'm not sorry <laughs> canvas not canvas repository the repository will be open so here you can call one uh, row generator job or instead of that i can go for a remote duplicate stage job so now this job is called so to know the job activity, which job is work, uh, called into this activity, you can just copy this your uh, uh, job name and you can paste it in the general name. So once you click OK, the activity name itself will give you the job name. So this will make sure, make us to understand, uh, understand which job you called into the activity. It will be very easier. So that is the base, two ways that we can call your parallel jobs onto the sequence of job sequence canvas. Now, I want to call another job. I want to call another job. So job activity I brought, and I want to call job one, which is your copy job. Copy to operator job I given, and I want to click OK. And here I want to name this job uh, on the stage name as a stage name and job two and uh, job three so now i have three jobs here sample job sample load job copy operator job one robo duplicate job two okay now see i'm going to create this sequence so before creating a sequence i need to come uh, create uh, save this job so I'll, on this folder, I'm going to create as a sequencers folder. I'll create a sequencers folder. And in that uh, folder, I'll create uh, these sequencers jobs. So I'll select that. So I want to say that this is your sequence flow. Flow of, uh, flow of uh, job one. I just want to make sequence flow job one. So now select on the sequence folder and save then the job is saved with sequence flow job one and now we are going to run this and well before running we'll just go to the director and go to the sequence folder 
this is your sequencer job compiled but if you want to see the jobs flow run you need to go to that particular folder so we call the parallel jobs right sample load job sample load job job 1 copy operator job 1 and okay what i'll do these three i'll uh, create uh, i'll just go to what i'll do i have taken three jobs right which is sample job what i'll do in the parallel itself uh, designer itself i'll go to the repository i'll move that see and here i'm going to cover one topic a sample topic i want to move these jobs into your folders i can do that simply sample load job this is my first job copy operator job this is my second job and third remove duplicate job to remove duplicate job two. so totally three jobs i have placed in placed in sequences okay three are finished status and sequence job flow also is there now i'm going to run this i have compiled it okay again once more i'll compile it as i changed the path uh, there is no difference you know, it will not affect any performance or affect anything to if you uh, change your jobs from one folder to another folder it doesn't affect anything your source systems will be the same your target systems will be the same nowhere the changes will not be applicable if you change the jobs from one folder to another folder after design so once i click on run button just go to the director see now the sequence flow is running and the sample load job is running see all together parallelly all three jobs are running at a time or not maybe the sample load job is finished first so the two are finished first now the sequence will be completed so this is your flow here there is no dependency there is no control there is no sequence okay there is no sequence there is no nothing is done but what happened three jobs parallelly started now what i want to do is i want to make a sequence first uh, sample load job should run next copy operator job should run next remove duplicate job should run this is order sequence order i just want to make a sequence order so in that case what i'll do i'll just drag an output from sample load job to copy operator job and again from copy operator job to remove duplicate job now what will happen if i run the job first sample load job will run after completion of job sample job load run then the copy operator will run and after completion of the copy operator run then remove duplicate stage will run so we'll see that after giving the links some sample load job to a given copy operator so there is a sequence first sample load job should run next copy operator should run and next remove duplicate job should run see now it will be happening in the same way first sample load job sequence will start if sequence start only the parallel jobs will run first sample load finished next copy operator should run copy operator is running and next remove duplicate after completion of that remove duplicate should run see now this is sequence order completion after completion see here nowhere i have mentioned that uh, if this job is success only this second job should run if second job is successful then only third job should run i never mentioned anywhere see the sequence log you can see the run jobs three jobs are there these are the three run job requested see this is a request next you can see this job finished okay the finished status we discussed in uh, general topics uh, in the director we discussed what is finished status finished okay and uh, finished c log and uh, about it we have discussed them right so that uh, the concept is same for uh, sequence jobs here but only the thing how many jobs you place in sequence and running those all number of jobs will be uh, starting with run job command uh, log log type run job log type based on that your flow will be started and here there are uh, status of this code will be status of this job will be like this if it is success one okay if it finish the c log warning we will see what all those things okay so this is to just uh, make a job to get in sequence order okay we did not do anything much 
we have just seen how to create a sequence job and how to call a parallel job. Two job, two type two ways we have called a parallel job or a server job. We can do the same way, but I have shown you only with parallel jobs. And in the parallel jobs, what we can do, we can uh, we can call in two ways. Like uh, we can uh, drag the job onto the canvas. That is one way, and other way way you can call the job activity onto the canvas and browse for the job name in the repository. So to the next, we'll see with uh, how to control the jobs even. And uh, if this job is success, then only the second job should run. If second job is success, then only the third job should run. Either any one of the job is failed, total sequence should abort. Such of information we can do. So that we will see in the next sessions. Thanks for watching this video.